libertarian, conservative woman. And I'm the first female and first Republican elected Attorney General of Arkansas. The very same office Bill Clinton held when those two launched their careers of corruption. Hillary says when they left the White House, they were poor. And while they've made millions, she's still poor in all the ways that really count. Poor judgment, poor policies, and poor decisions. <laughs> Hillary is a lawyer, but she acts like the law doesn't apply to her. Absolutely no good could have come from merging her public service with her private interest, much less her private server. What we know about her scandals is bad. What we don't know may be worse. Why did Bill's speaking fees skyrocket as soon as she became Secretary of State? Why did donors to the Clinton Foundation receive favorable treatment from the State Department? Deception and dishonesty are all second nature to Hillary. As my daddy likes to say, Hillary will lie even when the truth would serve her better. I broke a glass ceiling. I know the importance of doing so. But a historical milestone need not come at the expense of America. Unlike Hillary, Donald Trump knows that women and men are not single-issue voters. We care about jobs, the economy, and national security. I know this race will shape the Supreme Court for generations. Do we want the late Antonin Scalia to be replaced by a liberal activist judge? <laughs> Donald Trump will nominate conservative justices who will uphold the Constitution, support the rule of law, and rein in out of control federal bureaucrats. <laughs> Frankly, Frankly, Hillary needs to go to her own house and not the White House. And she can take Ruth Bader Ginsburg with her. My fellow Americans, it's time to update your resumes because Donald Trump is growing jobs and with a Trump presidency, America will be closed to overregulation and open for business. God bless each and every one of you and God bless America. Thank you.